Good morning and thanks for joining me again today. So for breakfast this morning I've got porridge. There is 40 grams of porridge oats for healthy extra at B. I've made that with water. Um, Tracy Mouse inspired me to make this so I got her the idea of her channel yesterday. I haven't made exactly the spice mix that she had because I didn't have the one thing that she had, which I can't remember now, was uh, <clears throat> sweet something. Anyway, so I've just put a sprinkling of cinnamon and mixed spice, so that is free. I've chopped up an apple in to the porridge, so that is a speed food. And then the other part of the apple is on top. So my breakfast is my healthy bee choice, free and speed. And I've got my coffee made, which is using some of my, let me show you, milk um, measured out for the day of skimmed milk. So yeah, now I've had one coffee so far this morning and now I am on to decaf. I bought decaf coffee and decaf tea yesterday because apparently my, my blood pressure is high. So I'm trying to do as much as I can to try and lower it. So yeah, so that is my breakfast and I'll catch you all later. So this is my lunch today. I've had a really busy morning and I'm starving. I've said this before, I think. When I have porridge for breakfast, I don't know why, but I get hungrier quicker than if I have like fruit and yogurt. So really strange. But anyway, I've got a big... I got a layer of mixed leaves at the bottom there um, and then I've got which is speed food and then I've got cherry tomatoes, red onion, cucumber and they're all speed food and then I've got a small chicken breast there which is just flavoured with a little bit of Cajun, Cajun seasoning and then I've got half of a healthy extra A, I've grated very very fine 20 grams of Cathedral City Lighter there. And then I've got a tablespoon of this. Um, God, I scanned it before I filmed. I think it's two sins. I'll confirm on the screen. So I have got lots and lots of speed. I meant to have boiled, boiled an egg and I completely forgot. Uh, but I got a bit of protein with the chicken. So hopefully this will fill me because I am starving. Oh, well, I started to eat it and then I thought, oh, I fancy a bit of beetroot so I have added beetroot to it now and that is also a speed food. Well it filled a gap but I'm still a bit hungry so I'm going to have this orange which is a speed food and the um, Kavag yogurt for half a sin and um, the balsamic vinegar, um, balsamic glaze, this here I said I'll put it on the screen but I've just um, checked now and it's two sins a tablespoon. So I'm on two and a half sins so far with that and um, my yoghurt. I can't see a snack so I'm going to have these blueberries. <clears throat> I spoke too soon yesterday saying how I felt so much better. This afternoon I feel like <clears throat> absolute, well, S-H-I-T. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I just feel like can't be bothered my head's hurting again um I I did do another test just to make sure because I thought oh my goodness but that did come back negative so so it might just be the after effects of it or I might just have a normal cold I don't know but yeah definitely not as good as I was feeling yesterday so I could quite easily um eat my way through whatever's in the house you know what the family have all my hi-fi bars or something I could really really just um binge at the moment which I'm not going to I'm going to stay strong and I'm going to eat these blueberries so for tea tonight I've got a salmon fillet which is free and protein and then I've got half of pouch of Uncle Ben's sweet chilli rice and that is one sin for half the pouch and tender stem broccoli for my speed food so I'm don't know if I need a bit of sauce on here but I'll see how I go and I'll let you know if I do. It was absolutely gorgeous I didn't need any sauce so 
I'm finishing off with one of these protein yogurts from Aldi's and I made a mistake the other day I said this one and the vanilla was one and a half um, but one of the lovely subscribers uh, informed me that actually this one is in, is too thin so I've just scanned it to make sure and yeah it certainly is too thin I just wanted to show you this egg custard that I made we have had a little sample um, so I said in my video yesterday about some ideas for like puddings so I had quite a few good suggestions and um, one lovely consultant Angeline um, left me quite a list of different um, ideas which was really really nice of you um, but this um, I thought would be interesting egg custard because if you've been watching me a while you know that I used to love a custard tart so this in here is three eggs um, a splash of milk out of my milk allowance, um, a sprinkle of sweetener, that was it wasn't that? Yeah, mixed all that together, poured it into the dish and then I sprinkled, um, I got some nutmeg which I grated on top. So that is all free, um, yeah so we had it when it was hot but I th I'm sure it's going to be better when it's cold so that's a very good idea, thank you. Well, thankfully, I am feeling a little bit better than I did earlier because, oh my gosh, I felt so rough again. I don't know what happened. It just hit me. My head was thumping again and I just, like, it sort of, I just felt drained. Like, I don't know. Yeah, so <clears throat> I, I didn't feel good at all, but fingers crossed, I'm okay now. And I've had the last lot of the tablets today the ones that I was prescribed for having COVID. Um, so hopefully now I should be on the mend. But like I was uh, saying to my friend earlier, it could be there's still like normal colds going around. So maybe I've got that on top of getting over COVID. You don't know. But anyway, I've still had a great day on plan. I'm, I'm definitely not a big headed person, far from it. But I am so chuffed with myself for staying on plan whilst feeling ill because it is quite easy to just think sod it and you know eat for comfort um but i'm determined determined to get this weight off now for christmas so um also i had a message from my consultant tonight saying that um to become a consultant you have to be like within a certain weight range i think it is and um, I need another half a stone off, which is giving me even more. Not because I'm going to go for this consultant job, because I haven't, you know, I just haven't thought about it properly. I might attend a Zoom just to see what's said. <clears throat> but to know that that, you know, you need another half stone off gives me even more burst, more encouragement to do it. So, so yeah, um, as I say, I could have quite easily... My mum called by today, this afternoon, and um, she's like 81. And when she has a cup of tea, she always, always has a biscuit. So I got like a biscuit box for her. Well, not just for her, but... And as soon as my mum comes, Daisy knows that a cup of tea means a biscuit. So, so yeah, I was looking at these biscuits and I thought, oh my God. But I knew that if I had one, one would lead to two, three, maybe four. So it's just not worth it so yeah i am pleased with myself for sticking with it so yeah so i had the porridge for breakfast and you know i think i did mention it when i have porridge for breakfast it seems really silly but it's supposed to be filling but i get more hungry by about 11 o'clock than than if i had fruit and yogurt which i can't really understand but anyway it was yummy when i was eating it at the time and then I had that huge salad at lunchtime, which was delicious, really nice. My yoghurt for half a sin. <clears throat> and then tea, I haven't had that for a long time. <clears throat> See, I'm getting fro croaky again now. Um, the salmon, the rice and the 10 stem broccoli, really enjoy that. That's lovely. So I had one sin there for the rice. And then I had the yoghurt for pudding, which was two sins. Um, and then snack-wise today... 
I've had an apple and I've had a pink and white wafer which was two and a half sins. Um, I meant to have filmed it and I didn't because my phone was on charge but I made some sugar free jelly this afternoon and um, so I made like the one sachet and I put them into four little glass dishes so I'm counting it's one and a half of the sachet but I'll just count half a sin for each portion to, to make it easier so that's what I'm going to have in my supper tonight I'm going to have um, a pot of jelly and put some 0% Greek yogurt on top so that's just going to cost me half a sin and then once that egg custard is chilled I may just have a slice of that, maybe with my jelly, I don't know, just to see, taste it when it's cold. So, ending on um, two, four, five, six and a half, is that right? Two, four, five. Yeah, six and a half sins today. So, yeah, I, as I say, I am um, really pleased that I've stuck to it and I haven't caved with not feeling very well so um yeah thank you to everybody that left me some comments last night and suggestions about puddings i really really appreciate it and as i said um angeline left me some really lovely ideas so that's where i got the egg custard um idea from <clears throat> so thank you for that um i'm gonna make some rice pudding i think tomorrow probably um, so that's nice and warming for this time of year. My hair, it's, it's overdue a cut now when it's getting all in my eyes, but I think I've got to wait till a week Saturday. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go now. The kids are at Krati, so I'm going to have 10 minutes piece before they come home. And, um, yeah, that's all I've got to say today. And I'm going to lose my voice, so I've got to go. Although my husband's probably saying thank goodness. Um... So I will see you all again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.